Hello, this is M with Abnormal Mapping, and welcome to the new Let's Adventure with... With... Gabriel Knight, Since the Fathers. This is the first Gabriel Knight game. This came out in 1993. It was written, directed, designed by Jane Jensen. Um, I've always meant to play this. I've never played a Sierra game before, but I've been told that this game is not one that has, like... Uh, if you don't pick up the item in hour one, you won't be stuck in hour ten. So I'm going to trust the person who told me this, because uh, she's a good friend. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to give this a shot. I, like I said, never played this. So we're going to we're go ahead and hit hit this intro first. I, I don't know what to expect. Uh, like I said, I have, I've only tested to make sure the sound levels are fine. We're going to play this. Uh, this is going to go back. Uh, if you're watching this on a Monday, probably. This is going to go back to our Monday, Wednesday, Friday because it's a real adventure game, not like uh, Life is Strange. And um, I think that's about it. Uh, about 20 minutes per episode. That's where I am for. Uh, that's very dramatic. I know this game has voice acting, um, so I'm going to try not to step on that, but I know there's also just a lot of like looking around. So game designer Jane Jensen is all very dramatic. Uh, producer Robert Holmes. This music is banging, director Jane Jensen. This is good music. Lead programmer Tom DeSalvo. Background illustration director John Schrodes. Animation director Michael Hutchinson. Composer Robert Holmes. You killed it, Robert. Yeah. This is, this is great. I'm already glad I'm playing this, because this music, as I said, is banging. Um, this is not going to be like the craziest long intro, will it? BQH. It's cut. Don't go forever. Please don't go forever. This is an old game, so I assume the uh, credits are going to be short. But maybe I'm wrong. Nathan Gams. Hollywood voice production. Stuart M. Rosa. This font is a lot. Featuring the voices of. Oh, cool. Uh, Tim Curry. Oh, interesting. Did not know that. Mark Hamill is directing mostly. This, I'm very excited now. Leah Remini as Grace Nakamura. Virginia Capers as narrator. Michael Dorn. Hey, Dr. John. Leilani Jones as Malia Gede. Gede? Ephraim Zimbalo Jr. as Wolfgang. He played Alfred in Batman the Animated Series. Rocky Carroll as Willie Walker. Susan Silo as Kazanu, Kazano. Chris Lutzen as Crash. Jim Cummings as Desk Sergeant. Jim Cummings is in everything. Uh, Mary Kay Bergman as Gerda. This has, like, uh, Linda Gary as Grandma. This has, like, talent in it. Monty Markham as Hartridge. Nancy Lenehan as Margaret... Oh, Magenta Boom. Bartender Stonewall King. Uh, Dorian Harewood as Watchman to St. Gervais. Gervais. Um, are we playing the video game? No? Day one. Oh, okay, maybe this should... As it spoke of sin, the lake was smooth and deep and black, as was her scented skin. Okay. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I bet. Just a minute. It lives, I see. Do you want to speak with Lolita? I'm sorry, but Gabriel is allowed. Oh, I mean, he's out. <laughs> yeah, if he ever comes back, I'll tell him. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Sure. Bye-bye. Good morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Let me know when you want your messages. Yeah. Gee, you're lively. Did you have another nightmare last night? Sort of. Mm-hmm. I told you it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up your karma. I'm sure that's it. Maybe I should write a horror novel on passive resistance instead. <sighs> so don't sleep. It's your body. Anyway, your handheld tape recorder came today. Really? Great. Oh, Tim Curry's accent in this is sublime. I can't wait to see what human rights you violate with this one. I can't wait to violate them. For example, if you would just let me... And I located some local voodoo references for you. Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Okay. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps, like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. Well, if you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. Okay, so what I want to do... Okay. Score, right, there's score. Controls. Right, I would like to... Text on. Um, that's probably save, right? So, save. I'm playing this game on GOG, uh, for the record. Um, I am going to probably record an hour at a time, so these episodes will be just chopped up, um, as I can get, as I can make it work. Um, and then every week I'll reintroduce, you know, it, you know, I won't, there won't be like solid introductions or whatever every session, but I'll try to keep an eye on the timer. The recorder, playback conversations. Okay. So that allows me to access dialogues, um, inventory. We have open, we have pickup. Uh, operate. The chair switch, blah, blah, blah. Move. It's moving objects. Look is a description. That's for clues. Walk. Uh, ask. Interrogate. Okay. So that's I use dialogue to interrogate specific subjects. Talk is just talk. Okay. I think I think we're good there. Um, the magnifying glass is a handy item for reading old manuscripts. Or the fine print on Gabriel's leaves. Okay. What's this? There's a pair of tweezers on the counter. Grace uses them for book repair work. Okay, right, so we can uh, take these. Let's take everything that's not nailed down. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a little scruffy. Just trying to make you feel at home. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. Okay. No problem. The books on the table have been chosen for their special appeal. Recent fiction by the babies. In other words, nothing written by Gabriel. Okay. Today's newspaper is on the counter. Blessed caffeine. 
St. George books could use some serious renovation, but Gabriel likes to think that the place has character. Cute gargoyle, eh? Okay. Grace keeps her art supplies here. All right. The book rack contains cookbooks, yeah, yeah, yeah. crime. Gabriel looks at the cash register, checking for cobwebs. Don't mind if I do. That's gross. Do Carol. what? Oh, nothing. St. George book. Okay. Um. Can we take the newspaper? Just try to take everything. I know that's kind of the thing with a game of this vintage. Times Pickle Hune. Dated June 18, 1993. The front page has an article about the voodoo murders. The article says that the victims are all identified as members of the underworld. The general public of New Orleans is in no danger. Police claim the so-called voodoo trappings found at the crime scenes are fake, a scare tactic and that the murders are not associated with any genuine practitioners. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Mm, right. Okay. I'm getting points for that. I'm not really concerned about points. Uh, that kidney's already floating, thanks. All right. Art supplies? Gabriel wouldn't dare touch Grace's oil base. Um, we should probably talk to... Uh... Grace, then. I picked the right talk. I don't remember. So, what's new, Grace? Your use of mathematics, for one thing. These books are unbelievable. What can I say? I refuse to be bound by rules. The strap marks on your bedpost speak otherwise. Oh. Owned. All right. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Okay. Uh, voodoo. What can you tell me about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it, until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop, the museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. Okay. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the paper, same as you. Okay. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Well, I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. Tell me about yourself, Grace. Yeah, right, Knight. I mean it. What do you want to know? Uh... How do you like working at St. George's Books? Well, it's not exactly a huge intellectual challenge. Although the math in your record books could confuse Einstein. Still, I love old books, and it's a nice way to pay the bills while I explore the city for a summer. If you ever pay me, that is. <laughs> okay. What do you do after work? Well, I either go to my oil painting class or my Tai Chi. You know that. You know, you can go overboard with this improving yourself stuff. You don't want to alienate us mere mortals. I suppose I should just allow my mind and body to atrophy. Works for me. How old are you? Old enough to know about men like you. <laughs> she is uh, the best. How come we haven't gone out yet? I'm still waiting around for that lobotomy. As soon as I get it, I'll let you know. <laughs> Just tell me anything at all. I just got my master's in history and classics. My folks wanted me to go on right away for my PhD, but 
18 years of school was enough. I needed a break. Okay, anything Just else? Just tell me. I came to New Orleans because I'd read so much about Okay. I can button through dialogue. Just tell me. I've always wanted to do something really okay. adventurous. Just... My folks are traditional Japanese. Okay. Just tell me. I've been studying Tai Chi for 10 years. It's... <laughs> uh, Dragon Gabriel. Just this, tell I me. I like her. Perfect. She's the best. My folks want me to get married to a boy back east. Mark Kobayashi. Okay. Just Ready? tell me anything at all. I've been studying Tai Chi. Alright, we got loops. So let's get no, out of here. Yes. Sit yourself. Um... Messages. Do you have messages for me? Dana called, and uh, Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Awesome. Okie dokie. There's more when you want them. Do you have more messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What did she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great, and we had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. But she said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Do you have more messages for me? Here's a strange one. You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter? He said he was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent, maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. More messages? Do you have more messages for me? Your friend Detective Mosley called. Talking of visiting. Especially with you. What do you want? He left an interesting message. He told me to tell you that his mother's maiden name is Humphrey. Oh, that's H-U-M-P-H-R-E-Y. Fascinating. And what? that he left some photos for you at the station, at the front desk. It's about time. Gabriel, those photos wouldn't have anything to do with the voodoo murders, would they? Now, why would you say something like that? Because I know you. You're getting privileged information, aren't you? Did you tell him you'd put him in a new voodoo book? A writer has certain obligation to his readers, you know. Gabriel, you know you'll never put him in your book. Your main character is a female orthodontist. You're gonna be reincarnated as a pit bull if you keep screwing with your karma. As long as it's a male pit bull with a really big... That's enough. Thanks. Anyway. That's all the messages. Thank God. Okay, I'm jotting down notes. Uh, picture of the front desk, German called uh, Humphreys that happened. Um, grandmother's stuff. Okay, I think that's everything. Uh, I just, you know. I want to make sure that I got all that. All right, what is request research? Could you do some research for me? Sure. What? I can't think. Okay. All right. Uh, that's it for now. For talking to her, um, I think we could probably go. We could check the back, I guess. Oh, hey, yeah, okay. So let's look around. The desk phone is cheap, but functional. Okay. The typewriter... Should I feel guilty? Nah. Several dozen books. In okay. A small trunk. Okay. The wastebasket overflows with crumpled pages of mediocre glory. Mardi Gras mementos left by some female or other. It's Gabriel's bathroom. I really got to get around to cleaning up in there. Okay. A little cold bubbly and brie cheese. Gabriel's bedroom is jeans and t-shirts. 
A poster on the wall advertises Mardi Gras, the biggest party of the year in New Orleans. All right, I think that's it for this first episode. Uh, I'm watching the time, so, you know. Um, next time we'll pick up things in this room, and then we'll be on our way. We'll head out. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.